All right, folks, I have to say, there are some things in the August update of Fusion 360 that are hands down time savers. This month, we're highlighting a couple of functionality changes and features that will impact every type of user of Fusion 360. From industrial designers to machinists and project managers, one, if not all of these new features will be a highlight or added value to your workflow. First, emboss. The new emboss feature lets you sketch a desired shape and with a click of a button, you can emboss or deboss onto or into a selected surface. To use it, simply draw a sketch of your desired shape. In the Create dropdown, select Emboss. Select the sketch you want to use, then the face you want it to interact with. And depending on your operation, you can emboss or deboss. Here, you can also adjust its position on the intended surface. Things like mold making, solid modeling, surfacing, whatever it is that you're creating, this new feature saves you time. This one goes out to all of our parameter users and is one you've been asking about for a long time. When creating dimensions on a sketch, you can change the default dimension's name while entering the value. Just enter the name you want for that dimension, add the equal sign, then your numerical value, and poof, it's updated in your parameters dialog box. This is a major time saver for anyone whose workflow has been back and forth from parameters to modeling. Edit in place made it possible for you to edit a reference component in place of the assembly that it lives in. Now you can create a reference component directly within the assembly you're working in and have that component saved automatically to the location you choose. The new component command now has two new options, external and internal components. Selecting internal creates a component like it's always been but selecting external will create a reference component within the active assembly and reveal a new location option. For anyone working on a team, this is a fantastic tool that lets you design concurrently with stakeholders and collaborators while also having the power to outsource, outshare, and isolate aspects of your project should the need arise. All right, this one's for all you T-spline lovers. We've released Edit by Curve. This feature gives you more control and fine tuning in T-spline modeling by using curved control points instead of dragging edges. The intention is to provide you with more control over the details so you can get precisely what you want for your project. This new feature gives you more options like degree values, distribution, as well as curve fit preferences. For anyone working in the T-spline's environment, this is going to be a major bonus. Not everything in the making process is modeling or CAM. There's a lot to it that involves information and the distribution of it. In our drawing space, we've got a couple new tools that make getting the right information across easier than ever. For those who are heavy in project management, drawing creation, or specifying roles, this one's for you. Now, when you go to assemble a drawing set, you can control the details of your section views by using our enhanced section view command. With this enhancement, you can control the depth of your sectional drawings with a couple mouse clicks. Once you've drawn your dividing line, select between full, slice, or distance. These options give you the tools to be specific when creating your drawings that need to be sent to internal or external groups. Another enhancement in the newest release of Fusion 360's drawings is ensuring documents meet your branding or information management standards. Let's be real. You spend a lot of time on your branding or organizational methods. You need it to be consistent. Our improved Insert Image from the Cloud tool lets you insert your branding to your title block by selecting the image file you've uploaded to your project. Being consistent with your drawings and data sets just got a lot easier. One last highlight for drawings is going to please some of our international colleagues. French and Italian are two recent additions to the drawings environment. Now, forgive my Oki dialect, but Rajoui and Relagrassi. All right, y'all, that's it for Fusion 360's August 2020 update. Be sure to check out the electronics and manufacturing updates for Fusion 360.